your news or see up or short with your host, Kaya Ninja, which is me, the handsome one with the handsome hair, with the handsome clothes, and the handsome studio, aka my grandma's basement. Oh my gosh, I think I said too much. Anyway, in the news. Dr. Dr. Rachel Walensky, director of the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, said in a White House briefing on the April 9th that COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations are increasing, especially for younger people while deaths are going down. Increases in cases and emergency room visits are being seen in younger adults, many of whom have not been vaccinated. Those aged 18 to 25, 26 to 54, and 55 to 64 have increasing numbers of emergency department visits while people aged 65 and older have decreasing visits, showing how effective vaccination is in the fight against COVID-19. Speaking of vaccination, Pfizer asked the Food and Drug Administration to expand its coronavirus vaccine administration authorization. Authorization, thank you, Mom. Okay, anyway, to children ages 12 to 15. The company wants to make its vaccine available to the age range before the start of 2021 school year. Moderna said on March 16 that it had begun testing its shot to children under age 12. Johnson & Johnson plans to test its single-shot vaccine in infants and even in newborns after testing it first in older children, according to the New York Times. So buckle up, kids! They're coming for us! I hate shots, but you know what I hate more than shots? Yes. COVID-19! In other news, April is the world's autism awareness and acceptance month. The prevalence of autism in the United States has risen from 1 in 125 children in 2010 to 1 in 59 in 2020. And guess what? I'm one of them! And last week, I was a speaker at my city's Autism Awareness and Acceptance Ceremony along with two very special people, Andrew Arbo, an autistic adult who works as a, as a director of community outreach planning across the spectrum and Chris Calabro, executive director at Western Connecticut Association for Human Rights. Two amazing teachers got an award for creating a sensory walk at Pembroke School from Danbury's Mayor Joe Cavo and then we raised an autism awareness flag that will fly over the city for an entire month of April. So to wrap up today's show, here's a clip from my speech at the ceremony. I hope you really like it, but I just want to tell all the adults that think that autism is scary, that there's no me, no need to be afraid. Autism is really cool. Hi, my name is Kaiyui, but most people know me as Kai Ninja. I am autistic. I was diagnosed before I turned three because my parents saw I was not speaking. Some adults think that autism is scary, but I'm here to tell all the adults that think that way that they are wrong. Getting early intervention services made me able to speak to other people using my voice to help people always, has always been my dream. My show helps me accomplish my dream. Autism is not scary, it's a bad thing. It's a good thing because the world needs a bunch of different people with different talents, abilities, and brains with different ideas. Early intervention was hard sometimes, but I tried hard so I could speak to my loved ones. When I was young, I could not speak, but I felt inside I can do anything, so now I can speak. 
I want to help people with my voice in the future. I want to work what worked for me now worked for all autistic kids the same way, but every autistic kid deserves help from it and acceptance. And I'll use my voice to fight for that. Woo. See you in two weeks while we drop the next episode. Phew. Meanwhile, don't forget to hit up my channel on YouTube so you so you can help me reach to a thousand subscribers on www.youtube.com slash C slash Caillou Ninja. Oh, and by the way, we are raising money to create a sensory room at Danbury Public Library for children with special needs. The space will be the first of its kind in a library in Connecticut. Please give if you can. The link will be the video info. Have a great week, everyone. Stay safe, wear a mask, and don't even ask. And get your vaccine on. Go.